J, Chai Suksuri, Product Specialist, ISS. Today I want to show you how to program Tools Talk 2. So let's go take a look. We're going to talk about Tools Talk 2 settings. So starting with the preferences, you can see I could select the torque unit, the temperature unit, languages. Now, what's interesting here is these preferences are only for the controller because this is the controller settings. There is also in this upper right hand corner, which is your preferences. If you see here, my preference is Newton meter for torque unit, Celsius for temperature, and English for language. Let's prove here if this is true. My temperature unit here is Celsius, but in my controller is Fahrenheit. If I click on the controller information, my controller temperature is in Celsius according to my user settings. The user setting means this is what I want to see in every controller connecting to my tools talk to. Now, next, startup screen, result screen, or home screen. When you turn on your controller, do you want to see your main home screen where you see all the icons for setting things up? Or you want to see the result from your production today. Next is access via factory port. This is an accessibility option. If you turn it off, this controller will disconnect from me because I am connecting this controller through factory port. So I'm not going to turn that off. Do I want to use pin? Yes, because using pin in the controller allows traceability. I'll show you how that works. In the pin codes, I can enable different users with different pin codes. Suppose this maintenance guy pin code could be 1111, ME pin code could be 4321. If somebody logs on with 4321, they will have a name in the controller for any changes as ME. Any changes made through Tools Talk 2, you will have this Active Directory name in any changes. Now, this is an interesting option. Use pin for service port. Now we're connecting through factory port, and that makes sense if you want to use pin codes. If you're connecting through service port, which is in front of your controller, by default, this is set up as off because it could be a way in your controller in case you forget your pin code. But if you want it, your controller to be extremely secured, you can turn this on. And anybody who access the controller through the service port will be blocked with a pin code. In activity timeout, that's straightforward. Next on this tool section is different service indicators and alarms. Service indicator alarm is when you need those kind of indicators when service interval is reach. Tool lock after service alarm means if you turn this on and it requires calibration or the interval is reach, your tool will be locked to make sure you don't, you know, use a bad tool in the production line. That will be a little bit dangerous too because it will stop your production. Show calibration alarm, that's straightforward. Enable oil level supervision. This is for our TBP pulse tools. Lock on oil level empty alarm means it will disable your tool whenever the oil is empty, protecting your tool, which is pretty good, but it will also stop your production. So I will turn this off just in case. Next is the server connections. I'm gonna start on the license server. You could use Toolsock 2 to apply licenses through the server or from the server. In this case, this is turned on. It means I could apply licenses through my controller from this server. If I click on I right here, you could see there are licenses from this license server, which is two critical control and three process control. Next, Toolsnet Enable. If you read this description here, 
it says, make sure ToolsNet is not on the same server as Tools Talk. If you do, we'll see. If I turn on this ToolsNet enable, and this is the same IP address as my Tools Talk server right here, and the same port 9016 as my Tools Talk right here, as you can see here on the IP address. There'll be a warning say Tools Net port and host is equal to Tools Talk. If you really push this configuration, this controller will be kicked off because you're reporting to the same port and same IP address, so the connection will clash. So I would turn this off. Next is the time settings. I could tell this controller that you could use your own manual time or tool set time, which is our default because we want to make sure all controller is using the same time. Or lastly, NTP, which is network time protocol. This is a configuration if you want to connect BCP, BCBRE, RE, which means you can report these battery tools to this controller. So that's it on this video for Tools Talk 2. I hope that was helpful. If you have any more questions, please contact your local LS Copco representative. Thanks for watching. <laughs>